Hello YouTube, this is Virtua Plays. Uh, thank you for joining me once again. Um, we're going to play Electrocop for the Atari Lynx. So this game came out in 1989, which to put it into a bit of context, was the year the Game Boy launched. So check out these visuals, compare them to what was available on the Game Boy at launch, and you can see why to some people the Atari Lynx was quite exciting. Now that's not to say it was good. I never play my Atari Lynx. It's lived in a drawer for, I was going to say 10 years, definitely longer than 10 years. Um, but I think, you know, it's interesting to look at these things. It was obviously technically a much more powerful console. Um, okay, let's just read this. You're a cop. You're summoned to the offices of Megacorp, the world's largest corporation. Your boss orders you to do whatever Megacorp wants. Tell you that an evil robot has kidnapped the president's daughter, blah, blah, blah. Okay. <clears throat> so, Electrocop is interesting in that it's one of the, um, the Atari Lynx's exclusive games. And although the Lynx doesn't have loads of easily recognisable exclusive games, um, it does have a handful, and Electrocop is one of them. And I think, I think it's kind of cool. So it's got this like depth to it. You're not just running left and right like you often would in these kind of games. You can duck, you can shoot. You run into the screen. It's got this cool kind of wireframe look to show you when there's a door that you've been through. And I think it's I think it's kind of cool, like technically, for a game from 1989. Uh, you can pick up new guns. Look, I've got a little gun on my shoulder now. Uh, I can't remember how you fire it, but but it's there. <laughs> and then ah, look, I've got two guns on my shoulders now. Pretty good. And then, as soon as I can find a locked door, I'll show you the next cool thing about his game. Okay, so here's a locked door. You see, if we go up to one of these computer screens, we've got this weird little MS-DOS inside the game. So you've got a little Wikipedia where you can look up information about the enemies. You know, like, oh, what are the Bluebird like? It's a slow walk with light armor. Shoots a low-power laser. So that's quite cool. You can look up about the weapons and the, all the different things. Oh look, utilities. User installed skeleton key program. Status user installed temporary robot disable program. So we're going to be using the icebreaker now. Because we want to open this door, but the door requires a code. We don't know the code. So we're going to use the program. And that starts to run through all the possible combinations and find the, the unlock code. There's also a load of games on it. So inside this game, it's created like asteroids and uh, Breakout, which, you know, if you're going to create your little, your little fake operating system, yeah, you put in Minesweeper and stuff, don't you? So I'm just going to let that fail because I don't want to I don't want to sit and play Breakout for the rest of this video. Um, there we go. I want to hack this door. So you can play those while the program is hacking the door, which, again, I think is pretty awesome. Let's just try the last game, Letter Puzzle. Oh, it's just one of these. Um, Do I have to finish it to... I don't really want to. Oh god. I've done it now, haven't I? Um, A, B, C, D, E, F, G... Oh god, I wish I hadn't started this now. Because I don't want to play it. A, B, C, D, E, F. Right, I need to get my B's and C's changed around. Um, oh, crap. 
uh, I'm going to restart this because I'm not going to sit and play this for the entire video. And uh, I will, uh, I'll catch you when I'm back at this point. Hold this space. Okay, we're back. I'm hacking the door again. We are not going to play Letter Puzzle because it turns out that I'm terrible at those games. Uh, meanwhile, while we're here, we can uh, repair our weapons and our health. So the downside of this system, this cool hacking system, is you're basically just waiting for it to try every number until it gets the right one. But as I said, luckily you can do all these other things while you're um, while it's hacking it. Okay, so I think that noise means that it's done it. Can acknowledged. Cool. Door should be open. Yeah. So that's kind of, it's kind of interesting. And then we can exit the level. So this level, from memory, is much more irritating because uh, these enemies, they jump from back to front. They don't just run left to right. So you have to, you have to deal with that. And then there's these doors where you have to wait. You have to wait for them to Oh, you have to perfectly time it. So it's after three bars. Ugh, I'm absolutely failing to do this. Right, next time. Go. So you'll notice I picked up the twin laser, which gives me two laser blasts as well this time. So you've been timed as well, so you'll notice at the top of the screen there's like, there's like a time limit. Um, so you've got an hour basically to make your way through the game. And to be honest, you'd be lucky if your Atari Lynx lasted an hour because the battery life on them was absolutely shocking. Similar to the Game Gear really. You know, the downside of using these visuals was that you needed a lot of power for them. Oh gosh. Right, okay. We have to hack some doors again. Set the icebreaker going. Play a little game of meteors. Which is really, really difficult. I swear asteroids was never this hard. I think the small screen doesn't help. So the Lynx had a stupidly small screen, and if you've ever you've, if you've ever seen a Lynx, you'll you'll know what I mean when I say it had this kind of odd control scheme. Where um, I mean, I'm, I'm presuming it was created so that if you were left or right-handed, you could control it. But it had a D-pad on both sides of the of the handheld, and yeah, I don't really know. Similar to a way in the the, the Virtual Boy. Not Virtua Boys, that's us. The Virtual Boy has a D-pad on both sides as well. And I, yeah, I guess it's to combat people who are left-handed, but I've never spoken to a, a left-handed person who's, you know, been thankful for that. All right, let's heal. Weapons are good. Let's go. So it said weapons not damage, but I... I haven't actually got any weapons. So I need to fix that. So I'm, I'm kind of interested to know if you're left-handed or if you know anybody who's left-handed, I'd be interested to know if you would find having a D-pad on the right-hand side of a console would have been a useful thing for you. Or is it just a case that you get so used to regular controls that being left or right-handed doesn't make a difference. This looks like level one, but it says level seven. Not having a gun is really starting to affect my, uh, what I can do. And I, I, don't, I don't know if you can tell, there's these floor tiles are really messing me up. So if it's a red floor tile, it hurts you. If it's a white floor tile, it means it's slippery. And I'm desperately trying to find a gun. That looks like it's going to chop me in two. Oh, 
I think I'm going to die here. Yeah, that's the end of our. That's the end of our video, I'm afraid. I love this game over screen. A mysterious blue powder was found in the old Megacorp research facility. That's me uh, in a pile of dust. So, yeah, Electrocorp. I think it's an interesting concept. It's got some really interesting gameplay mechanics, particularly for its age. I think its age is kind of the, the most important thing to note when looking at this. And the fact it was a handheld game as well. Um, I would I would have still rather been playing a Game Boy and uh, playing Tetris or Motocross Maniacs or something. But I think as one of the Lynx's, you know, handful of exclusive games, I think Electrocop's an interesting one. So thank you for joining me for uh, as I as I play a bit of Electrocop. Um, I'm go I'm gonna keep trying to do some of these little videos where we just you know very relaxed we'll just play a bit of an old game i'm not i'm not i'm not reviewing it and i'm not i'm not you know doing a little critical analysis of it i'm just just kind of kicking back and playing a bit so thank you for joining me for that and indulging me and i hope i will see you next time thank you very much bye bye bye